Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, I've just swept this open fire and um, I'm in a, a fantastic, gorgeous uh, manor property at the moment. Manor house property, should I say, if I'm going to speak proper English. So like, um, but yes, um, it, it, the, the room is being renovated at the moment and it, it's a bit of a, a, a mixed match of um, different types of fireplaces. Um, on, the fire surround itself is a, is a Regency fire surround. And um, I think they're about 17th century, if I remember rightly. I'm not too sure if it's, it's an original one. I've got a funny feeling it might be, but um, without doing a bit of history and research on it, but it's, it's, it's actually, it, it looks like it's in, um, uh, it's got a Georgian fire back. Um, and the reason why I say it's got a Georgian fire back, when you look closely, it's come closer. The Georgians were really into trying to get the maximum heat efficiency out of the appliances. So when you look at this one, it's it, it sort of, um, it's shaped at an angle where it sort of, it tips. It's, it's, it's narrow, at the, uh, it's, uh, it's wider at the base. And then as it goes up to this point here, um, you can see where, where it's been swept over the years. Um, it, it actually comes into the room. So, um, so it's, it's like if you look at the gap just there, it's, it's very short compared to look at the gap at the bottom. And the reason why they did that was that they wanted the flame to come out more into the room. That's why it's, 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 it's as tall as it is. So it's quite a big fireplace, but they did that so that the, when, when the flame comes up, that it actually comes out into the room and, and, and then goes around that bit, that lip there and then it goes straight back into the fireplace and then up into the actual chimney itself, which is pretty dark up there, so you won't be able to see it. So that's why I know it's like a Georgian style because the Georgians are really into like trying to get the maximum heat efficiency and, and, and that sort of period of time in, in, in uh, the United Kingdom's history, uh, obviously the Industrial Revolution and, and all that sort of stuff, uh, uh, that was probably when the, the that the UK was leading the way of innovations and stuff like that. So um, what they were always trying to do, obviously, because this is the main source of heating and this is where, you know, they used to entertain the guests in the house, but that, that's what they would do. They would try and get the best out of the appliance. As you can see, um, it would have had a different base to it originally. So there's probably about three different types of fireplaces in this. But uh, like with the Regency fire surround, I, I love these style fire surrounds. They're absolutely gorgeous the way they're done. I mean, if you think nowadays what you buy, um, it's just crap. And the quality, th this would have been all handmade. This would have, this would have not been like, you know, um, these, bit, these bits would have been stuck on, they would have been probably handmade. Uh, it's just stunning, you know, that someone's actually gone for the, for the effort to do all this, you know, and all the thought that's actually gone into it, like even with the tiles being the same colour as these tiles, so that's why I know it's like a Georgian style. It, it probably, it probably would have had a different um, surround originally. I don't think you can see the original surround just here. You can see that this is connecting on, or is it connecting on? Yeah, yeah you can actually see the line. But this is being connected on onto it and you can see down the bottom even more clearly that that's what it would have been like originally so it would have been a, a, a georgian style fireplace um, and i can imagine that this would have been original this is original this piece up here and then the floors would have been original and then this has been added on for so you give it that that sort of elegancy well, if you can imagine in the old days and they used to have people coming into the property and they would have been like, obviously entertaining their guests. And they, you know, um, in, in the UK, um, how it used to work, it, it wasn't the size of your house that people noticed. It was the size of your chimney. The taller the, your chimney was, the, the richer you were, the, the more stature you had in the community. People used to be able to see your chimney for miles and miles. So, if you're if you're from the the UK, uh, you'll realise um, you'll you'll probably think sometimes like, why are them chimneys so massive? 
And the reason why they were so massive was because the reason why they're so massive is because they wanted you to see them from miles and miles away. That's why. That it was it was a statement. It was like, hey, you know, I, I'm I'm the, the the man of the manor, and um, you know, and it was also a good direction to get to people's properties. That's why in, in the UK we don't have like in America and Australia and other places, countries like that where they have like First Avenue, Second Avenue, all that sort of stuff. It makes sense what you, the, the way they, they, they do in other countries. But uh, in the UK, we have like Church Street, uh, Western Street, uh, Western Road, Eastern Road, you know, all, all these different names. And, and of course, like the Church Street, if someone said to you, my house is on Church Street, so you would uh, you would you would obviously wouldn't have a map. You would look for the church in the village, and then the, the street that the church is on. That's where the property would be that you'd be looking for. Western Road would be the Western Road in the in the village, and that's how it works. Obviously, in like in America and Australia and Canada and other countries, they they have like First Avenue, Second Avenue, and I presume I'm 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 not obviously from these countries, but I presume that would have meant. You know, the first avenue would be the first one, then the second avenue would be the next one, and so on and so forth. I think like Boston is different, and and and, and I think the, the five states might be different because they were originally they were uh, they were part of the UK originally, weren't they? But the five states that was the about the the the, the, the revolution. It was it wasn't about that. people could get mistaken that it was like. Yeah, victory over America, but it was only five states. It wasn't the whole of America because the, the rest of America is run by the Indians. So, um, but I, you know, I, I'm I'm all for edu I love my history, but yeah, when it comes to the chimneys and everything, it was all about grandeur, and it was all about statement. You know, it wasn't like about what car you had, what jewelry you were wearing, and stuff like that. It was about the size of your house, the size of your chimney. So. But if you ever come to the UK and you go, my God, look at the size of them chimneys. They were built deliberately so that you could see them for miles and miles away. Um, for two reasons, to say, look, you know, look how wealthy I am. And the other one was um, obviously to help you find where the property was. You know, so there's a bit of common sense there. But I just thought I'd do this video on this, this particular fireplace because it's got, it's got probably three different elements on it. It's even actually got the name of the, the, the maker on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, I've noticed my videos are a lot brighter when, when, um, when I look back at them, so hopefully you'll see that. But as it is, they've done a pretty good job. Um, um, once it's all been refurbished, it's, the, the customer's going to keep it as it is. I've, I've recommended that um, obviously the grate's going to need to be sorted out. But I've said for the time being, like I always say to people, because he only burns wood, let the ash build up, get a nice big thick ash bed in there. And um, when you have your first fire in there, put plenty of paper in there, get it, get that chimney warm. What I'll do at the end of this video is I'll put the actual brush popping out the top so you can make a wish. Because uh, it's an old U U uh, UK tradition. I'm not too sure if it's uh, in other countries and stuff like that. Um, as I was saying, I'm, I'm sort of uh, like um, thinking about doing other um, uh, different types of content about fireplaces, open fires and stuff like that because there's so much history in it, there's so much, I've got, as I say, I've got so much knowledge of like, open fires and, 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 and where they come from. A lot of these sort of appliances were built locally. Um, obviously, for for common sense purposes, because it was easy to have them built locally. Uh, I do a lot of work in Brighton, and 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 um, most of them are built in Brighton. They go to some other areas, and they were built in in them areas, and they have their, they always had their, their the Marcus uh, stamp on them. So, if you like this type of content, um, I'm really happy to sort of go down this road because, as I said, my head is just full up of um, knowledge when it comes to open fires and, and stuff like that, more so than, than wood burners. Wood burners are quite basic and there's, there's only so much that you can tell people about them, even though there's thousands of different ones on the markets. But these, 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 some of these fireplaces that I sweep, they can be like 400 years old, 500 years old. It's incredible. 
Yeah, absolutely, you know, stunning. Some, and I've climbed up chimneys, and, and, and it's amazing. And there's, like, there's engravings of people that have been up there before me and everything. The other thing I would say is, like, these aren't really the particular sort of type of appliances that you would want to be power sweeping. So if you're ever going to get these, these cleans, I would strongly recommend sticking to the traditional ways because obviously this is how they would have been, this is why they've been kept in such good condition that the actual, and I'm not talking about the fireplace, I'm talking about the lining inside, the lining inside's all intact and everything, and uh, power sweeping, it can be quite a, a vicious sort of sweep. They're good for very sharp angles and things like that, but with these sort of types of appliances, they've got to be treated like, you know, very delicate, they're very elegant, and they need to be, you know, treated in that way. And, and a bit of elbow grease, you know, to build their muscles up. You don't need a machine to clean things, you know, you just need a bit of, bit of elbow grease, a bit of muscle, get stuck in there and get it sorted out. So, um, yeah, that's what, that's what I would, um, um, I'm going to start doing. If you like my content, then give me a thumbs up. Uh, and then I'll start doing a bit more because um, I go to some absolutely stunning stunning places with some amazing prop, uh, fireplaces and I can tell you all the history about them you know even to the, the timber frames that come off uh, the old fighting ships in the, in the old days from, um, from the, the, the sea battles from Trafalgar and, Bill, um, and before that uh, it's just amazing that the history that, that the fireplaces have that like the beam going across the top might have come from a, uh, a fighting ship and stuff like that it's incredible so um, if you like this type of content, then give me a thumbs up. I'll soon find out if you do, if you don't. But um, have a great day from Zachary from Zachary Sweets.